Good morning, good morning to you, my beautiful, wonderful, smart, amazing chin gangs. What's up? What's good? It's early. It is nine o'clock in the morning, and I am up. I am out because I had a lot of stuff to get done today. It's going to be super, super hot the next couple of days. Like talking about like scorching hot, like. It's nine o'clock and it's already 80 degrees. Today, I think it's gonna be a high of like 85. Tomorrow, it's gonna be almost 100. It's gonna be 97, but we just gonna say 100, okay? But y'all know I'm so ready for it. Like, I don't understand how some people really don't love the heat. Like, I love, the hotter the better for me. I don't know why, but I just really, really love when it's hot. I'm thinking if I should go to the beach today or I want to get a tan so I'm thinking if I should go today or tomorrow I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but anyways um y'all like my little bun I look like a freaking 16 year old <laughs> I, this is how I really been looking the last couple of days I was supposed to get my hair done and I don't know what, what's going on like I just have not gotten the time to do my hair I have bought hair for the longest probably about like two months now I have hair and I wanted to get a leave out and i haven't done that yet but this is just how i've been looking like a teenager <laughs> and today's gonna be a pretty eventful day i have a few running arounds to do that's why i'm up and out really early and i just got me some fruits from Publix. this is like a really nice fruit bowl it has kiwi mango blackberries strawberries pineapple and papaya Fun fact, papaya is one of my favorite, favorite foods. I love, love, love papaya. So I'm just kind of munching on this before I head over to my first stop of the day, which is going to be Walmart. I got a couple of things to pick up. And then I had a little car wash. I feel like every time I talk to y'all, <laughs> I literally got to get my car wash. I just don't be keeping up with it and it's disgusting okay it smells terrible okay not that bad but i had some food in here and i don't know it just left a little smell so that has to be clean it is dusty as heck yeah it's just terrible so i gotta get a car wash and then um what else i gotta do oh i gotta get some sneakers so i think i'm gonna go to either burlington or five below be having some sneakers this white sneakers that i bought before that i like so i think i'm gonna go to five below in burlington but anyways we got a pretty eventful day today it's gonna be beautiful all right i'm here at wally world i don't know what it is but i hate coming to walmart i've heard somebody else say this on a video before so i know it's just not me I don't know, it's just so big and everything's all over the place. I hate walking up and down. Oh my God, I hate when these be so hard to get out. Like, that's crazy. Look at this. Morning. Mm -hmm. They have some really cute dresses in here too. I was looking at the other day. Let me go see if they still have it because I would definitely grab one. Don't sleep on Walmart, man. But the only thing is their prices be a little ridiculous. Like Walmart. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to come down a little bit here. Um, what if they still have it? It's like, oh, this looks cute. Oh wow, this is nice. And it feels good, it feels like cotton. Oh, they got different colors. This is nice. Wow, this is beautiful. How much is this, $12? Hmm. I think I'm gonna need a medium though. Let me go over to personal suction. I need peroxide. Man, I hate this, like, y'all don't understand how much I hate going from store to store. Like, how they don't have no peroxide? 
Like big, big Walmart. I don't like this. Oh, this is so annoying. I really do not like going from store to store. That's the reason why I came here because I wanted to get everything from here. All right, y'all. So I ended up getting these things. I didn't even get the dress. I just was like, I don't know. I didn't feel like it was gonna look good on me. Like the, this part, like the front part wasn't really, it wasn't really all that. But anyway, so I just got this mat. I feel like I'm always buying mats for the car. Like, and that's because the last time, remember when I took it to the rug beater, it wasn't, wasn't really cleaning it, which was really weird because that's what it's supposed to do. But anyways, I ended up just buying a new one. These are like a set of four and the price was really, really good. It was $14, $14.88, something like that. And usually I get these from like AutoZone and they're like super expensive, like $30, $40. So I had to get on this. <laughs> so um, I just got that. And then I got two paper towels. These are only 59 cents. And then I got air freshener for the car and some floss also to keep in the car. Cause the ones I have right now are literally almost, yeah, it's only like two of them in there. So I got some new ones. And put that in there. Actually, you know what, let me put these inside of this. So when I go to the car wash, I can just get rid of everything, all the junk. I don't wanna keep no old junk in here. And I think I'm gonna have to, have to go to Whole Foods because if I'm gonna be tanning, I want a natural sunscreen. I was actually, I forgot about that. And I was walking by the aisle in Walmart and I was like, oh, I gotta get sunscreen. Cause I did that once before and I burnt my body up and it didn't look good. <laughs> so I think, honestly, I think vitamin E oil is a natural sunscreen too. I'm about to Google that. Because if that's the case, I'm going to just get vitamin E oil. But I do still need to go to Whole Foods. It's kind of a little drive, but I need to get it because I also need lotion. And I'm not really the best right now when it comes to keeping up with my natural stuff. As y'all know, I was ranting and raving about natural stuff on my body. It's not there right now. So I've just been doing a lot of stuff that I... shouldn't be doing i still want to go and get a natural lotion you know something that doesn't have all of the nasty harsh chemicals because i'm rubbing that on my body so i'm going to go for that so that's why i was like you know what while i'm there i might as well just get the i know they're gonna have natural sunscreen so either that or i'm gonna just get vitamin e oil because i think that's good when you're tanning Oh, and then um, I needed a new body scrub and I usually get tea, what was it? Tea, tree Hut, Tree Hut. I usually get the Tree Hut one, but as I was walking by the aisle, I saw this one, Dr. Teal's, and it's shea butter, I mean, shea sugar scrub, shea butter and almond oil with essential oils. It has shea butter, sweet almond oil, and macadamia seed oil. And it says paraben and phthalate free. I'm not sure how you pronounce this, it's the second time I've seen this and I try to even pronounce it on camera and I don't know how you pronounce it, but this right here, that. So, and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh, all right. So I'm about to try this. When I say it smells so good, it smells so good. And y'all know what I've been doing lately too? I don't know what it is, but my hands been getting a little rough. And whenever I touch my face or my skin or anything like that, it feels very, very rough. So what I do is I use sugar scrub, like, you know, every once in a while. And I'll just, like, rub it in my hands. And um, it literally just makes my hands super, super smooth. The same way you would exfoliate the rest of your body and your body feels smooth after is the same thing I do on my hands. I never used to do it like that, you know, intentionally. I just always just do the rest, like, my regular body and that's it. But now that I find that my hands are, like, super hard, I just rub it together Take some of the scrub, rub it together like twice, 
and then rinse it off and my hands feel so soft. So that's what I've been loving to do. It has some ingredients in here, which I, I doubt if it's like, you know, all natural, but I'm gonna work with this. I'm really excited because it smells so good. I can't stop smelling it. It really does smell good. But anyway, so I got this and um, this EOS shaving cream. I love this. I've been using this as well. And then I got this for the car. I was actually concerned about that. I was like, am I gonna love the way that it looks because I got the cherry, but I don't know why I'm just so color coordinated. But anyways, yeah, so I just got these two. My baby can smell nice and fresh. And I got some laundry detergents because I'm about to, oh, I do have to do, did I tell y'all? I don't know if I told y'all, but I do have to do laundry today. And I also got some Rain X windshield washer fluid. So when I'm at the car wash, I'm about to pour that in. What we're gonna do now is car wash first. Or should I just go to Whole Foods first? I think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. But anyways, wherever I end up, y'all gonna end up. understand how much I miss Whole Foods in New York man because I used to get some real oh it's kind of nice here I, did, I wonder if they just put this here the seatings and stuff that looks really nice uh, yeah they used to have some really bomb vegan food like this nice vegan um chicken buffalo chicken Whole Foods oh my gosh I used to get that all the time with some mushrooms and some kale, but they don't have it here. I'm about to check though. Maybe it's because of the whole COVID thing, I don't know. But, oh, these are cute. These are really pretty. Mm, those are really nice. Really, really nice. heaven every time I come to Whole Foods <laughs> I just love all of the naturalness in here look at this all natural stuff oh my gosh Nubian heritage has hand washes now <gasps> oh my goodness I love their body wash wow I'm gonna have to get some of those okay now I think I'm about to get me something here. I'm feeling for vegan food. I don't want no junk food right now. So this looks good, vegan tofu. Yum, yum, yum. Flour, and that's the kale that I usually get. And then, oh yeah, I definitely want some of that. Look at the mushrooms. Mm. Look at the potatoes and the carrots.
listen you know how much was this this food i know they were always expensive but i used to pay about like 13 17 this was 22 dollars i wanted to tell them i'm not gonna get this no more okay so this is what i got i got tons of the kale this is some white fish potatoes spring roll uh carrots and what is oh and mushrooms i finished all of that food like i don't know why i felt like getting so much food <laughs> i didn't even touch the mushrooms i ate like half of it and i think i put like four of them in the box it hurt me to spend 22 dollars on that bro like uh i was looking at the prices and honestly Maybe it's the inflation, I don't know, but the prices was really high in there. But this is all I got. Mountain Ocean Skin Coconut Trip Moisturizer. And then I was going to get a bigger, different bottle, by the same brand though, of um, sunscreen. But I saw this at checkout. It was only $4. So I was like, all right, let me just go with this. It says SPF 30% and it's aloe vera okay it has a tree smell <laughs> see this smells really good this is cocoa coconuts let's see how this feels what did i throw that receipt out no it feels weird it feels very like how it's runny. I don't know. I mean, it feels okay. All right, I'll keep it. <laughs> I was about to return it for $14. But anyway, they don't even have regular peroxide. I try to find regular peroxide. They don't have it. They have natural peroxide. <laughs> But I didn't get that one. It was like $18. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. We about to go right to, fi no, not Family Dollar. Then I'm gonna go to CVS or something. Anyways, I just want regular peroxide. So, I'm about to go to the hair store right now though because I gotta get I need a face powder. And I really need some new moist um foundations, but I'm gonna hold off because I'm gonna be tanning and I know I'm gonna get darker. So I actually want to go to oh I gotta go to I gotta go to Ulta because I need a um, Morphe setting spray. Listen, I need to hurry up because it's already twelve thirty. I didn't even do laundry. I don't even think honestly I'm gonna be tanning today. It don't look like it. Cause by the time I do laundry, car that's gonna be like five o'clock, and I still haven't even finished my running around yet. Come on, y'all, let's go. This is the beauty supply that I'm at called fashion tree i actually really like this one they have a lot of stuff i was saying to y'all earlier how much i hate going from store to store right they don't have my shade of powder in here so now i gotta go to another place this is so annoying my my heart honestly just dropped when i saw it i was like no i just got um i do need to also perm my hair it looks like it's flat but i'm going to get my hair done in a couple days so i don't have to look like this <laughs> and i want my you know i'm gonna do a leave out so like i want my edges to really be flat 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 right now it looks flat i have a lot of new growth and that's because um you can't tell because i'm using um the jam i use the jam to like really slick my hair back so you can't really tell so yeah i'm just gonna touch up a little bit and yes, I still do relax my hair. I don't like the way my hair looks not relaxed. And plus it's hard to manage like, and it sheds more, I find. So I'm not yet there, you know. And um, and yeah, and then I just bought like this white nail polish. I'm also gonna be good doing my nails next week, but um, I know that if I don't make it to the beach today, I'm, I'm for sure going tomorrow. And my toes look 
horrible okay so at least i could you know paint them over just to make it look a little cute for tomorrow because i have to wear my slippers obviously i just get away with it right now because i'm wearing my sneakers but like if i'm going to the beach i want it to look a little a little nice you know until i go do my nails next week anyways I mean, oh my god i just want this day to be over <sighs> i really just want this day to be over and I'm still nowhere near done. I'm gonna just take a nap right now. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm gonna take y'all into this beauty supply here. It's called Five Star Beauty. I'm gonna take y'all in here because I kind of want to show y'all in how it looks inside. They have clothes and stuff like that. It's so freaking cool, like a clothes in a beauty supply. So let's go. Good morning. Good night. <laughs> Afternoon. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. <sighs> All right. Yeah, they do have it. This is the one right here. Golden glow. Kind of makes me look orangish on camera, but this is the closest thing right now. So I'm gonna just get this, and it's really inexpensive. Oh my gosh, look at all these colors. <laughs> all right, um, you know what? It wasn't this store. I thought it was this one that had a whole bunch of clothes. It was another one, my bad. Yeah, it wasn't this one, it was another one. Oh wow, I never saw this. Wow, they have intimates. That is so nice. Wow. They got the nice, sexy lingerie going on. I might have to come back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Or am I? So, yeah. They got clothes, some sweats. Regular t-shirts. Oh, this is cute. But I wouldn't wear this. I hate stuff that actually shows my print of my body shape. I don't know why. I don't like wearing them out. Well, this is cute, actually. Nice workout gear. But yeah, anyways, let's go because I can't. I don't got all day in here. Ulta! Ulta Beauty! I haven't been at Ulta in so freaking long. I'm just going in for what I need and that's it, child. Listen, not today. I just need this. And we are out. I do need a new neutral palette though. Here we go already, here we go. This is the heart of Savannah, you guys. This is Abercorn Street and Mall Boulevard. That place is really good, Moe Southwest. It's comparable to like a, um, what's that place called? Jewelry store over there, so plenty of shops, like a nice shopping center. They just put a rainbow there. I need to go over there as a matter of fact. Then you got the mall down here. So yeah, this is basically the center of Savannah. This is where I'm going, Savannah Center. I don't think I'm gonna go to Burlington anymore. Hopefully Five Below has the sneakers because honestly right now, I'm not trying to spend $20. <laughs> that sounds so cheap, but I'm really not. That $22 for that plate of food really got me so mad. Man, I haven't been in Joann's in years. If you don't know what Joann's is, it's a fabric store. I went into this place a couple of um like a couple months ago and oh and that place too shoe carnival it was pretty cool in there they have some heels that i wanted to get so this is where i'm coming to buy below <laughs> wow they have real techniques sponges for five dollars i want to get this 
They have the four agreements in here. No freaking way. Wow, Chin Gang. Today is my day. I am so excited. Okay, let me tell let me, let me tell y'all a little secret, right? Well, ever since I moved, I have just been so thrown off. I haven't been doing anything that I used to do before. I'm gonna just keep it real. And um, reading is one of them. And y'all know I love to read. Like my mind is just not there, you know, because I'm just running around, making things happen. Oh, so I was so surprised that they had books. I never saw books in there before. And they're actually self-help books. A couple weeks ago, I got this feeling of reading again. Like I really miss reading. The other day, I really, I'm gonna go to the bookstore. Like I really got inspired all over again. And I was like super, super happy. So I went to go to the bookstore and I actually have some stuff written down in my notes some books to get and i still haven't been there yet but i'm i'm, I'm gonna go but for these books to be five dollars is mind-blowing like i'm like wow these are really i know there's some really useful information in these this book i got this one too word search you know like things you used to do as a child was like really fun to you and then you get to an you turn to an adult and then those things just fade away well, this was one of them. I used to love doing word searches and I was like, you know what? Like, I want to get back into it and I haven't seen any. And when I saw this, that was my sign. Everything was basically $5 except for this. This was $4.25. Can y'all believe that? Like, this is really a steal. Like, Five Below is low key the spot. Like, they had, and they, you know what? I also wanted to get back into two board games. I did see TikTok. Um, monopoly i think but the only problem with those board games is i don't have anybody to play it with you know that's something that you want to play with somebody you can't just play by yourself my favorite board game as a child was chinese chinese what is it called chinese checkers yeah chinese checkers i used to love chinese checkers i know a lot of people love chess i never really got into chess but chinese checkers was my game and um monopoly i used to love monopoly so i want to get back into things that i used to love as a child these are the three books i ended up getting they had so many other books in there like i'm just so happy i got this one called burning bright and it says rituals reiki and self-care to to heal burnout anxiety and stress it's by kelsey pat Pato. The Gift of Presence, A Mindfulness Guide for Women by Carolyn Welsh. This life-changing book takes readers on a mindfulness journey to help them alleviate stress and cultivate inner peace. And then I got this, 100 plus exercises to boost your resilience, determination, and grit. Level up your mental toughness boot camp by Michelle Ribeiro. Move on from a difficult situation, banish negative self-talk, improve your mental health, get the grit and resilience you need to help you weather any storm with Level Up. Inside, you'll grind out emotional wellness with 120 activities designed to help you deal effectively with stressors, pressors, pressures and challenges you can perform to the best of your ability this is definitely up my alley you guys know i love my self-help books so i got three new babies here and i'm so excited like honestly this really just made my day they're actually really cute on my foot i'm glad that they they had it so that's good you know five bucks baby yes sir
My baby's in good hands now. Okay, she's gassed up. She's clean. She's living her best life. <laughs> she's living her best daggone life, not paying no bills. Ain't that some sh She's really like my baby, right? Because I got to buy her food. I got to her gas is the food. I got to clean her. got to, you know, oh, God. She really is a baby. Like, I'm thinking about it. Anyways, let's go to the car, uh, to the laundry. to get me some burger i'm feeling really hungry again it's been like what six hours since i ate i don't know why i'm feeling hungry but i'm actually feeling for the impossible burger that they have here it's plant-based i had it once before it's really good actually but personally if i was vegan or eating plant-based i wouldn't come and get it from a burger joint like that serves actual beef Hi, can I have a um, Impossible Whopper? The meal? Go ahead. Um, and I want it with a Sprite, please. That's it. A small. I mean, that's true, but everybody has a, we call them doppelgangers. Go ahead with your order. My mother and my grandson are mine. I, I can't hear you, ma'am. Uh, thank you for choosing burgers and what can I get for you? Can I have a Impossible Whopper, the meal, a small? What do you want to drink? A Sprite, please. Sprite, anything else? No, that's it. Your total is 1016. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I wouldn't order if I was vegan because they make it on the same grill as the beef you know what i'm saying so yeah no <laughs> but because i'm not a vegan i am just feeling for non-beef i don't want to eat beef right now so and it's actually really good it's really good dang i think i should have got a fruit punch yeah i think i should have got a fruit punch i gotta lay off the sweets man I wanted to order that pie thing that they had to, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know, man. See, this is what happens when you eat terrible. Your body is gonna crave, automatically crave more bad foods, you know? Once you put yourself on a routine and you really start to be disciplined and eat healthy, you won't really crave this kind of like, you know, unhealthy stuff. Personally, that's, I didn't, you know? Plus, when I was feeling good too, that I held that held me accountable because I was feeling good. So it made me not want to eat bad foods because I was feeling good. I guess Sprite, wait, oh, I guess Sprite it is because she didn't have any fruit punch. They didn't have no fruit punch. So I had to settle for the Sprite. I had to settle for the Sprite. Mm, I'm so hungry. I don't know why I'm like really hungry. You know what, too? I realized when you eat healthy, because remember I had all that healthy stuff earlier? When you eat healthy, I feel like you eat more. Meat is very filling. So I feel like you can go longer without eating. Bruh, where's the... Where's the lettuce? Like, this just... This, this really just pissed me off. The ghetto, child. The ghetto. Why, when I opened the sandwich, there was no lettuce on it? And I didn't even realize that there was no onions on there. So when I go to pull up, I guess she's the manager, and she calls me, and she's like, um, what's the matter, honey? You know how they talk. She's like, what's the matter, honey? I'm like, um, there's no lettuce on here. So, and she was like, um, something about we're out of onions. So when her, she told me that, I looked, and I'm like, oh, I thought the tomato was onion, so I really wasn't, you know, but I love onions. So I need all of that on my sandwich. 
that's a part of the meal that's why i came for it she was like there's no onion so not only did y'all not tell me there was no onions y'all just didn't put no lettuce so probably y'all ran out of lettuce too like the ghetto like how d i can't i can't like i really cannot oh my god so now i'm driving to another burger king <sighs> i just gave her back the food i don't want that she was like i'm not gonna do nothing with it but trash it well trash it because i'm gonna trash it i don't want that i need my onions and my, my my lettuce i love lettuce like if you don't know you probably won't know because i never mentioned it but i love lettuce and i love onions <sighs> gosh and i hate driving so now i gotta go to another freaking oh my goodness but that's what i feel for so that's just what i'm gonna get <sighs> Anyway, child, I'm going to talk back to you in a little bit. All right, now, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Plus, these fries are much fresher. The fries look so burnt. I was like, you got everything, right? He was like, yeah. <laughs> I said, because I just came from another one. And it was good. So no, I'm just kidding. I didn't say that. Let's see. Yeah. Mm. everything happens for a reason anyway but you know like during the midst of the situation that's when you get annoyed i always do that like i know everything happens for a reason and whatever the reason is it's unseen but i always get like irritated and then i'll be like i know it happens for a reason so it's okay and then i feel better <laughs> He just be sloppy with this though. But anyways, I'm not really a pickle girl. Not eat it. Just in case you never saw it. That's how it looks. It comes with lettuce, no cheese, because remember it's a vegan patty. Actually, you can add cheese, but I realize they have mayo on it. Obviously, if you're a vegan, you wouldn't get mayo. You just tell me you want without mayo. And like I said, that's up to you if you feel okay to get a plant-based patty that's made on a beef um, cooker. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it's actually really good. So that is how it looks. It has like a burnt taste around the edges, which I love. Another thing about me, I love my stuff burnt. Like I love well done and to taste that grilliness of like, you know, even grilled chicken. I had this grilled chicken sandwich the other day. It was the best I've ever had, I swear. It was from this place called Food Rockers, Food Rockers, something like that. I never heard of it. And I was Googling potato wedges fries because I was actually feeling for potato wedges, not French fries, like but potato wedges. And that place came up. So I saw in the pictures of how it looked. So I already knew they was going to make it well done. And when I got there, oh my gosh, it was so well done and burnt. I love it. This has like a burning taste, a burnt taste to it. That's good. I'm going to talk to you later. I'm about to finish eating up. Because I don't want to talk with my mouth full. See y'all later.